video number six. <clears throat> uh, I forgot to actually add this in in the first video. <clears throat> now, this recording of yourself and me doing these recordings, it's something that I'm not personally comfortable with because I like to write what I think. But anyway, I've had some good advisors uh, advising me that I need to explain the knowledge that I have uh, and the knowledge that others have shared with me uh, by posting short videos. And I want to continue to share that knowledge by reading uh, 2016 article dated the 8th of February 2016 on Donegal Daily concerning Enda Craig's and the, the community of Moville's battle against Donegal County Council and Board Panala, the Department of Environment and the Irish State which covers them all. So the story continued after the 2013 Judicial Review which was defeated on the 8th of March. Uh, shortly after that, then in August, the High Court made its ruling. But prior to that, uh, during the the judicial review process, a Mr. Peter Sweetman uh, introduced himself to Enda, and Mr. Sweetman and the help that he gave Enda and the people of Moville led to what I'm going to read uh, in the video, so that you have the knowledge of how important the judicial review we are trying to take. Um, and I also want to reiterate that the reason that we have been slowed down in this process is because of the attempts by Donegal County Council and others to slow me down in what I'm trying to expose. And they have done so in the criminal and civil courts which I have to defend. My good name, my good reputation as, a, as an honest, hard-working public representative. But anyway, we'll get back to the important aspect of this video. Green campaigners on the foil are celebrating after an astonishing ruling from the EU Commission found they were right and several state agencies wrong over how permission was given to pump treated sewage into the estuary. The EU Commission took the case so seriously, officials travelled to Dublin in November and have now told Ireland it must change its planning laws. And more importantly, for those in Moville who have opposed a wastewater treatment plant along the shore walk, that it cannot go ahead. The history of the planning case has turned into a 10 million debacle. Donegal County Council initially agreed to put the pipe outside the estuary way back in, in 1990. Councillors voted unanimously to do so. But something changed. No one quite knows what, but it did change and the proposed plant location was moved. The European Directive has given hope and a sense of vindication to residents on Loch Foyle who have campaigned to prevent effluent being pumped into the estuary at the picturesque and traditional bathing beach at Glenburnie in Novell. Enda Craig from the Save the Foil campaign group this week received confirmation from the Commission that his assertions that Ireland was not compliant with their legal obligations led to an undertaking of the compliance by the Irish authorities. This follows on from a meeting between the Commission and the Department of Environment last November 17th in Dublin. In this communication, Antoinette Long from the Commission states, During that meeting, I, Ireland, undertook to make the necessary changes to ensure compliance with the EIA Directive and the judgment in the case C50. In the case of licensing and planning permission for wastewater treatment plants, we are confident that the necessary amendments will be made. Mr Craig commented, this is what we have argued from day one and finally we have got someone to listen to our concerns. Most of our local politicians rejected us. Donegal County Council and on board Benalid rejected us. The EPA rejected us. The High Court rejected us. 
as did Irish Water and the Irish Government. It's a poor reflection on our country that it, its citizens must go to Brussels to access justice. Now we have the confirmation that Ireland was non-compliant with very important legislation involving licensing and planning permission for wastewater treatment plants. In particular, a case such as ours, we have been seeking the protection of this and other EU legislation which was denied us in the lead up to the granting of permission for the sewage scheme. This has implications for all major planning projects, particularly those that have potential to do serious damage to our environment. A discharge license cannot just be tagged on at the end of a scheme that has already received planning permission. These schemes must not be split and must be, be assessed as one unit. We in the Save the Foil have been down every road to highlight the idiotic decision of Donegal County Council to pump effluent into the enclosed estuary when access to open sea is available. An executive decision by the council went against the declared wishes of the elected members in 1990. Mr Craig added, ignoring this unanimous decision by the council caused millions of euros to be spent on consultants proposing a scheme an ultra expensive oral hearing and appeal rejected by Board Panala despite the opinion to refuse planning permission by the, by the board's inspector on three separate occasions. Our community has had to stump up and support me in an expensive high court challenge which I believe failed to identify the requirement of C5009 in a case such as environmental importance. Irish Water should now be stood down in its plans to continue with procuring the scheme. In the communication from Annette Long, or Antoinette Long, the Commission states that they anticipate the scheme cannot progress until new legislation is in place. That being the case, Irish Water throwing further good money after so much bad should not be an, uh, should not be an option. The responsibility for the past six, 26 years of hell that this little community of Carnegie has endured must be must be placed directly at the feet of Donegal County Council. After having democratically and unilaterally selected the perfect location for the disposal of the of the properly treated effluent into the wide Atlantic, north of Greencastle in 1990, they have spent, or rather wasted, millions manipulating the location to the beautiful beach at Carnegie. These 26 years have made even have been made even worse by the deplicable treatment we have been subjected to by most of the agencies we have had to deal with. These agencies, whose functions should be to inform and assist, have shown themselves incapable of transparency when it came to applying regulations. Nothing less than a wide-ranging investigation should be accepted into the incompetence that has left this community without an up-and-running plant for, the, for this past 20, 20 years. This follows the decision 26 years ago. Minutes of a meeting held in 1990 regarding the Moville Green Castle sewage scheme on the proposal of Councillor Keaveney, seconded by Councillor McGuinness, the following motion was considered by the Council. That this Council reject any proposed proposals to pump sewage or effluent from the proposed Moville Green Castle sewage scheme into Loch Foyle and relocate proposed treatment plant and outfall pipe at a more suitable location outside the environment of, Loch, of the loch and inform the consultant engineer of this decision. This motion passed unanimously by 12 to 0. Now, that is a very good example of what the defective concrete block home and property owners are suffering today. And I will deal with more on, on this in the next video and I'm sorry that that took a wee bit longer than I actually thought but um, that concludes video number six I hope you enjoyed and watch out for the next video.